Hey guys, happy go lucky here, back for a new style of maths question of the day. It's more likely challenge of the day instead now. We've completed two IGCC specimen papers over lockdown, and it, I've been really looking forward to starting these off. These, if you haven't noticed already, are diagnostic questions. So massive thanks to Craig Barton and the diagnostic questions team. It's basically a collection of questions that are supposed to help teachers like me analyze the common misconceptions that people are making. And it's a really good, deep practice of problem solving. So here's the first question of our diagnostic questions. It's all about adding fractions today. And I want you to think about what the correct answer is, but also what's the three wrong answers and why? Because that's sometimes just as important. Okay, the question goes as follows. Two thirds plus one fifth equals, and the options are, is it three fifteenths? Is it three eighths? Is it 13 fifteenths or 2 fifteenths? Press pause, have a go at the question, think about what's right and wrong and why, because it will help you understand about justifying your answers. I'll be back with the work solutions in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay guys, so back with the work solutions then. The first thing you need to make sure you always do when you're adding fractions is to be aware that you can't add two different denominators, the bottom part of the fraction, together. So the first one we can discount is B is definitely not the right answer. What they've done is what a lot of people do is just add the top, 2 plus 1 is 3, and add the bottom, 3 plus 5 is 8. Unfortunately, that is not the correct answer. You are not supposed to just add the top and add the bottom. The other three answers are kind of halfway there. They all have a denominator of 15, and that's been found because when you're adding fractions, you can't do anything until these bottoms are the same. We've got a three and a five, and you can't add thirds and fifths together to different sizes. So let's make them the same size. The way to do that is to find the lowest common multiple of three and five. In other words, do your three times tables, do your five times tables until you realize a number that they both go into. So there's the threes, there's the fives, and the first one that they both go into is fifteenths. So we can actually turn both the fractions into fifteenths. Okay, so let's look at the three answers given. We've got option A, three fifteenths, option C, thirteen fifteenths, or option D, two fifteenths. Well, if we're going to be adding these together, well, the thing is with the fractions is we did have three, but we have now got 15. So we've multiplied three by five to get 15. And likewise with the five, we've multiplied to get 15. We've multiplied by three. Now, although that's good and they've all got the answer of 15 down the bottom, whatever you do to the bottom of a fraction, you've got to do to the top as well. So if we multiply the three by five to get 15, you've got to do the same. So the numerator, the top of the fraction. So 2 times 5 will go at the top, which is 10. So 2 thirds is the same as 10 fifteenths. And 1 fifth, well, 5 times 3 to get to 15, we have to do 1 times 3 at the top of the numerator to get 3 fifteenths. So it's actually 10 fifteenths plus 3 fifteenths. Looking at the three answers available, 3 fifteenths, this one here, part A, Yes, they've got 15 on the bottom, but it looks like what they've done is just added the numerators. 2 plus 1 is 3, and that is not correct. Looking at option C, 13 fifteenths, we have 10 fifteenths plus 3 fifteenths. And if you have 10 of anything, and add 3 more of that anything, like 10 oranges plus 3 oranges, you'll get 13 oranges. So this proves that the bottom stays the same, and the the new numerators you add together to get 13 fifteenths. So this appears to be the correct answer. Let's just look at D. And yes, we've got the 15, but we've got two at the top. Well, the only way we could get two is by accidentally multiplying the two and the one together to get two instead of getting them converted and then adding them. So that is not the right answer. All right, so after studying the answers and justifying our reasons for what's right and wrong, 
the correct answer is definitely 13 fifteenths. Two thirds plus one fifth is 13 fifteenths because you have to turn them both into a common denominator for 15. Two thirds is 10 fifteenths and one fifth is three fifteenths. And then we can add them together. 10 plus three is 13 and the fifteenths is already done. So it stays 13 over 15. The answer is C. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed that one. You got a lot from it. Slightly different variation of the question of the day. So let me know how you think that went. Thanks again to Craig Barton and the Diagnostic Questions team for giving me permission to let me broadcast this across the world. I've been Habakulaki. Thanks for watching, guys. Good for you. See you again soon. Bye.